It is summertime, and if you're looking for a great beach spot, have we got the perfect place for you. Yeah, all summer long. Lauren Richardson is showing us how to have a great day in cities and towns all across the state. Today, she's taking us to the shoreline to visit Niantic. Yay! Check it out. All right, today we are heading out to the shoreline. That's right, we are here at Niantic Bay Boardwalk. This is actually a part of East Lime. I'm going to go check it out. Let's go take a walk and enjoy. Okay, so hey, we are here on the boardwalk now. It is beautiful out here. And uh, hey, you must be Jerry. That's me. Hi, Jerry. You are the uh, director of Parks and Rec here, right, in East Lyme. Right. All right, well, tell me, this boardwalk is fantastic. Uh, like, why do people come? I mean, how long is it? What's, sure, what's there to sure. do here? <laughs> well, thanks for coming out today. Yeah. And, and we love showing off here in East Lyme. The boardwalk is a 1.1 mile stretch of boardwalk, just like we're standing on. It's perfectly accessible. People of all abilities have the ability to move up and down the boardwalk. You go by Cheney Beach here. We have other beaches a mile down the road that you can go to, Hole in the Wall Beach and McCook Point Park. Lots of activities going on in all those areas. In the summer, we have concerts at McCook Point Park. We have an accessible fishing pier down here at uh, Cheney Park at Boat Launch. Beaches, volleyball. So much to do. It's great. And through the uh, East Lime Public Trust, people are able to donate uh, to help maintain and improve the, the boardwalk. We have the memorial benches. We have these memorial signs. Uh, people can you know contact the East Lime Public Trust to donate. Not on the boardwalk, <laughs> but on either end, you can probably find some place to stop. Mm, all right, let's go find that place. All right, I mentioned getting something to eat. Well, what better than Sift Bakery? Now, if you haven't heard of Sift before, they have the most incredible, beautiful pastries, and I'm here with the co-owner. Hello. Abby. Hi, Welcome. how are you? Oh, great, thank you for joining us oh, today. Oh, thank you for being on this. I mean, it looks amazing. Um, so you just opened the shop in Niantic pretty recently, right? We did, we just opened in October, okay. um, and it's been wonderful. So we're so grateful, Niantic people are just amazing. The, the community's been so welcoming to us, and we're just, we're happy to be here. Oh my gosh, well, tell me about some of the highlights. Like, you guys have so many great things, but we, tell me the highlights. So everything is made from scratch every day, and I would say that we specialize definitely in croissants. We have a great croissant assortment we have our um, chocolate croissant chocolate raspberry some seasonal assortments Ooh. like our blueberry um, cheese and then we also have our sticky pen which is definitely one of our sift staples from the beginning everybody has always loved that um, we also have our macarons um, we have beautiful entremets which are little petite desserts for people and then of course we have a full barista and beverages for people as well all right That's great well you know just for the job I mean maybe I could try it absolutely okay all right let's go <laughs> All right, guys, I got the Evios, and I got a latte for you guys, too. Oh, my gosh, Whoa. and I met some new friends here, too. So, guys, what do you, you have the butterfly lemonade, right? Mm. All right, I'm going to try this. It looks delicious. Just cinnamon and sugar. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I took a really big bite. Okay, well, on to my next location. Say bye, guys. Bye. Okay, well, if you are a bookworm or you want to be one or maybe you've got some books to sell, I have the perfect spot for you. This is the Book Barn, and if you haven't heard of it in Niantic, it's a pretty fantastic place. And I'm here with the owner today. Hi, Hi Randy. Hi, how are we pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, yep. too. This is a fantastic <clears throat> place. So how many books do you guys have here? I mean, you've got a huge collection, right? Probably about 300 to 350,000 books, but it's changing Ooh. all the time because we buy about 10,000 books a week. Wow. Yep. Now, you've got a couple different buildings. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, um, we started 35 years ago just in the basement of this building. This is an old 1840 barn. We filled this and then we just kept adding buildings. So there's five buildings on this property. Um, and then we started opening up supplemental stores. We have one downtown and one next door here that we call Chapter 3. Uh, we just sort of ran out of room. Wow, and people can bring their books here too to sell them, right, to you that guys? That is correct. We buy a lot of books. We don't buy everything people bring us. We, what we buy, we send you back with the rest. You're on, you're on your own on those, but um, <laughs> well, we, got, we have only have room for the ones that we can sell. Right, exactly. And then you've got a couple other special features. You told me some animals here. Yep, like that. Uh, we have two goats that are here. The kids love. We, they can buy carrots and feed them the carrots. Uh, we have one uh, cat here and then three cats over at Chapter 3. Uh, there's a turtle in a small pond back there. There's playgrounds. There's little cars for the kids to ride around. We don't care why kids think this is an exciting bookstore. We just want kids to think bookstores are exciting. It's really important. Yeah. Oh wow, this book is a real page turner. Actually, if you know me, you know I love the Harry Potter series, but they've got so many amazing books here. All right, I had a great day in Niantic and I will see you next time. 
I think she had a blast. I do. I think they had cats at the book barn too at one point. I don't yeah. know if they went. I don't know where they went. But well, it, maybe they're still there. Maybe they're still there. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a visit. Well, speaking of, if you're looking to go visit, for more information on any of the places Lauren went, just head to wfsb.com. Click on the Great Day tab.